By touching the top of any selected output channel, you open the setup panel. Within the setup panel, you are able to name the bus with either the keyboard or from the custom names list, turn on and off individual channel recall safes, access the output channel presets control panel and choose whether the signal is monitored by Solo 1, Solo 2 or both. The copy from and copy to functions are also accessed from here. The group and aux output channels have additional controls within the setup panel. First let's look at the group setup panel. The top of the group setup panel shows a list of the input channels that are routed to that group. The input channels list can be scrolled if necessary using the bar on the right hand side. If you touch an input channel fader and that channel is routed to that group, the channel name will be highlighted in the list. Underneath this list are two buttons labeled Clear All and Connect All. The Clear All button clears all the input channel routes to the selected group, whereas the Connect All button will route all input channels to the selected group. Touching any of the input channel faders while pressing the Clear All or Connect All button will prevent the route unroute operation for those input channels. The top of the AUX setup panel contains several configuration options for the selected AUX channel. The three buttons on the top left of the panel will globally set the send point for that AUX's channels. This can be pre-mute, pre-fader or post-fader. The default setting in a new session is post-fader. This setting can also be individually changed at channel level. On the right-hand side of the panel are the AUX to fader and AUX to rotary buttons. If it is a stereo AUX, there is also a Link Pans button. The Link Pans control links the selected AUX pan to the channel pan of the input channel. If you select this function, the button will turn red and the AUX pan slider on the input channel strip will turn pink. The next two control options are AUX to fader and AUX to rotary. Pressing AUX to fader will assign control of the input channel sends of the selected AUX to the input channel faders. Similarly, pressing AUX to rotary will assign the input channel AUX sends of the selected output to the underscreen rotaries. Underneath the controls we have just talked about are the purple copy level from buttons. Pressing either the off or zero dB buttons will globally set the sends to this output to the selected level. The faders button copies the mix levels of the current fader positions to the AUX send levels. Pressing any of the other options copies the channel send levels from that AUX and applies those levels to the selected AUX, effectively duplicating that mix. 